essentially what I'm looking at is, you know, what are the key technologies that underpin profitable suckler beef production? And there are three key areas that we're looking at. Maximising the amount of grass we grow and utilise efficiently, optimising animal performance and doing all this in a planned way. So in maximising the amount of grass we grow and utilise, we need to have our soil fertility and our soil management right. It's about having a receding programme uh, and it's about using the grassland management tools in terms of variety selection, in terms of spring rotation planning, in terms of mid-season wedge. We need to have all these tools and utilise them. At a minimum, we need to be walking our gra grass weekly in order to make the right decisions at the right time. In optimising animal performance, it's about genetics, it's about herd health and it's about stockmanship all of these tied in together. We need to have the right genetics. Fortunately, we have indexes available now to select the right cow with the right milk and fertility, uh, but also that we have te terminal indexes to select animals that are you know, the best in terms of beef merit. Obviously, in terms of doing this, we need to do it in a planned way. So it's about developing a farm plan based on our farm's capacity, but also based on uh, what is achievable uh, and what the best farmers are doing. We must benchmark against the very best. Uh, ultimately, this plan must be put in place and reviewed regularly in line with market changes, with technology changes. There are events like the Open Day here at Grange today, events like uh, farm walks and also technology bulletins where we can get this information uh, and farms need, farmers need to pick up the key piece of technology, particularly around grassland management and breeding, that will improve profitability on their farm. What we've done here is looked at the very best farmers on the e-profit monitor in the Better Farm programme and our own analysis here at Grange. And we've asked, what are they doing that is different or better than other farmers that allow them to generate the margins they are? And ultimately, there are a few areas. It's about having high output. So on an adjusted 100-acre farm, <coughs> excuse me, in a weanling system, you're looking at carrying in and around 70 cows. You know, much higher than what we see the national average farmer carrying on a similar-sized farm. In a steer, uh, and heifer beef system, you're looking at carrying about 50 cows and in a bull heifer system carrying about 60 cows. So it's about having the highest output or the highest stocking rate that that farm can carry. Each cow obviously must have the right genetics, milk, fertility, beef merit coming from the terminal and also from the cow side in order for each cow to be as productive as possible. In terms of percent of grazed grass, we need to have something in the order of 70% grazed grass in the total feed budget in our weanling systems, about 65% in our steer systems, uh, and about 60% uh, in our bull heifer systems. Ultimately, we're looking at the bottom line. What are these farms delivering? Our weanling systems are delivering about 700 euros over the last number of years. Uh, our steer systems, about 850, and our bull heifer systems, close to 1,000 euros. Obviously, these are very volatile with uh, price changes, but those are the type of returns that have been generated. A very important message for, from us today is around the selection of systems and keeping a very close eye on what the market wants. We've seen a very uh, a rigorous tightening of specs this spring in particular, uh, and a lot of farm plans have been modified to take that into account. In an under 16 month system, you're essentially looking at uh, a carcass, a maximum carcass of 380 kilos. If you're in a a system that's producing at over 16 months, you need to have a very, very good communication channel with your processor. Ideally, you need a contract, but at a minimum, you need to have somewhere for, for these animals to go at slaughter, uh, and if possible, a price either hinged on the steer base price uh, or a fixed price that you are working off of. The key message is to optimize profitability and to maximize profitability, you need to have optimal animal performance from grazed grass. You must develop a farm plan to do that, benchmarking against the very best.